Liberal anti-gun politicians are a funny breed, with opinions on guns and the right to bear arms that range from downright scary. We cannot let a minority of people hold a viewpoint that terrorizes the majority of people. They're just plain old moronic. 30 magazine clip in half a second. There's no shortage of insane anti-gun quotes to choose from when you want to highlight how foolish and ignorant these people really are. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to look at the eight dumbest anti-gun statements ever uttered by politicians. Number eight. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells of 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and somewhat secluded. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to, you don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Number seven. We have federal regulations and state laws that prohibit hunting ducks with more than three rounds, and yet it's legal to hunt humans with 15 round, 30 round, even 150 round magazines. Number six. But that would ban most pistols. That would ban most. No, but pistols are different. You have to pull the trigger each time. An assault weapon, you basically hold it, goes. Blah, blah, blah. No, those are fully automatic weapons. Okay. Number five. Well, I read the legislation and it said that it would regulate barrel shots. What's a barrel shroud and why should we regulate that? The guns that were chosen back in, the, in those days were basically the guns that most gangs and criminals were using to kill our, our police okay. officers. I'm not saying it was the best bill, but that okay. was the best do, bill do you they know could what get a barrel out shroud at that particular is? time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shroud okay, is. I think it's, in your it's a shoulder thing that goes up. No, it's not. Number four. This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 magazine clip in half a second. Number three. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device on the tip of it, which is a heat-seeking device. So you don't shoot deer with a bullet that size. If you do, you could cook it at the same time. Number two. Very briefly, to your last question, what's the efficacy of, pa of banning these magazine clips? I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high-capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. And the award for the number one most idiotic anti-gun political statement of all time goes to Vice President Joe Biden. Yeah, I know. I already used him at the beginning of this video. But while his previous comments were more ignorant than dangerous, in a 2013 interview with Field and Stream magazine, Biden stuffed his foot even deeper into his mouth and basically encouraged people to engage in voluntary manslaughter or worse when he said, well... You know, my shotgun will do better for you than your AR-15. Because you want to keep someone away from your house? Just fire the shotgun through the door. Think about that astoundingly stupid and dangerously irresponsible piece of advice for a minute. Do you know what happens when you do something as stupid as shooting through a door without properly identifying your target? A deadly shooting on Oklahoma City's northwest side has police searching for clues. A man says he mistakenly shot his wife to death when he thought she was a burglar. Police say a 53-year-old woman shot her 57-year-old husband after she mistakenly took him for an intruder. Corey Lindblom told investigators he shot his wife before dawn when he thought she was an intruder. 27-year-old McKaylee Higgs died along with her unborn baby. Oops. Great advice, Joe. Better hope your wife doesn't put much stock in it. 